Good morning, Westside family. Thanks again for joining us as we look at the Gospel of John. And today, as we read John chapter 20, we're using our SOAP method. We see the beautiful good news that Jesus has risen. And the disciples run to the empty tomb. They can't believe it. They're overjoyed as Jesus appears. And then he, Jesus appears again to Thomas. And it's an amazing, merciful revelation that Thomas says, my God, my Lord and my God. And Jesus says, you believe because you've seen. Blessed are those who believe and they haven't seen. And then the verse that really spoke to me that I wanted to share with us today, and this is what John says, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. It's amazing that all that John saw, he meticulously recorded what Jesus did and what Jesus taught, and, and he did it out of a heart so that you and I, generations later, could read his words and have life in Christ. And that is the part that spoke to me today because so often in the world around us, we, we see the opposite of life. In fact, I couldn't help but think of Jesus' words earlier in this gospel in John 10.10 10, when Jesus says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy but I have come to give you life, and life to the full. And that is the gift that we have in Christ, an amazing gift of His grace, that He loves us, He accepts us, He has forgiven us. In fact, in John 19 yesterday, we got to hear that Jesus saying from the cross, it is finished, all of our sins, past, present, and future had been redeemed, had been forgiven because of Jesus on the cross, Jesus' work on the cross. So when I read about the life that Jesus wants to give us, my observation for the letter O, that John has recorded the miracles of Jesus so that we could have life, so that we could be rescued from sin and evil and death. And when I think about how the thief so often in my life, the, the deceiver as he's called, he tries to steal my joy, he twists and lies to me, and makes me believe that somehow my sin is not forgivable. Somehow I'm not completely forgiven, I'm not completely loved. And the only way I can combat those lies is through the truth of scripture, because my feelings can't be trusted on any given day, but if I take the time as we're doing today to look into scripture, I can hear Jesus' words that he has come to give us life, life to the fullest. And that's, that's different from any other world religion that, where we're trying to earn God's approval, where we're trying to somehow work for it and, and show God that we're worthy. We can't do that. That is completely futile. Instead, we are given, because of God's grace, life through Jesus. That is my continual goal, is to live in the beautiful freedom of the life that Jesus paid for on the cross. There's, there's nothing that we can add to that. There's nothing more that can be done. It is finished. And so my prayer for all of us today is in Jesus wanting us to have life, life abundantly, if you'll pray along with me. Holy God, Lord, would you help me to breathe in the gift of life that you've mercifully given to us through Christ? Would you help me to combat the lies of the thief and to live in truth that I am your forgiven and beloved daughter? In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And that is my prayer for you too, dear friends. As much as we are missing each other and not together, I pray that you will feel the life that Jesus wants you to have today. God bless you.